This is the KDA one month overview reading for the month of March 2023. It's currently February 15th, 2023, 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern Time. KDA at the time of this reading is currently $1.17, very auspicious price. Um, and the shuffle file that we're about to watch was created on January 21st, 2023 at 10.58 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this file right here. So the overall theme and behavior for the month, there's an important crest or peak that's highlighted here uh, on, a, on a like a year to date kind of scale. Um, and from that crest, we sell down to and through a support level. We do a U-shape reversal below that support level, come back and reuse it as support. Um, and it very much looks like that's kind of taking place throughout the, the month. I'll get into it in just a moment here. There is a sharp decline um, through multiple support levels that's highlighted as well that crosses it. Behavior around the highest high, um, we have a move higher through resistance, we stay above it briefly, and then we break back down through the same price level shortly thereafter with a full retracement. Uh, behavior around the lowest low, we sell from an overbought crest or peak down into the low. So my sense is that we have a high here on the first or the second, somewhere around the first, second. And then we have another high here on the seventh. These are the highest high locations, most likely. And my sense is that we have a lowest low, highest probability of a lowest low in here on the 20, on the 20, like on the, on the 22nd. There is a possibility of it being here on the 17th, but my sense is that it's here on the 22nd. Excuse me. Um, and then the, the sneak preview for the following month. So out of a decline, there's a fast sudden move higher marking the end of the decline. Um, that would really, that would really make sense. Like we have a notable decline in here, come back and reuse support as support. And then maybe we decline some more, um, in early April, we'll have to take a closer look at, at the April reading, uh, to, to, to know that, or we'd have to do the April reading to know that. Um, in any case on the first, we have a, a move that will stand out on a one month chart. It's, a, it's a, a trade opportunity, matter of fact, that'll stand out on a one month. It's very likely that the, that the first is the, is the high, um, but it's either the first or the second. And what we'll do is we'll move higher through resistance, stay above it briefly, and then we'll break back down through the same price level with the full retracement there shortly thereafter. Um, we'll, there's there's a sideways rotation, a period of sideways rotation there between like the second and the third. Um, that ends with a fast sudden move higher there, somewhere around, somewhere on the third. The cusp of the third and the fourth, there's a sharp drop, um, and then a notable decline throughout the fourth. But at the end of the day of the fourth, there's a, uh, excuse me, there's a prominent trough or low that'll stand out. Um, and from there, there's a significant move to the upside. I'm advised to be cautious that there at the, uh, a significant move to the upside there at the end of the day of the fourth. Um, on the fifth, overall, though, before I get to the fifth, overall, though, the fourth is going to be a down day. On the fifth, um, advised to be cautious. Uh, looks like some some kind of like whipsaw action going on there on the fifth. Um, on the sixth, we have a rally that increases with momentum moving forward in time. Looks like that rally continues into the seventh, where we have an our our second high, uh, most likely location it's about equal pro probability as the first and the se uh, first second uh, of having a highest high here on the seventh um there's the halting of a bullish trend there um on the seventh marked by a sharp decline through key support into the eighth Looks like we have a prominent trough early in the morning on the 9th, and then there's a big move out of that trough early on the 9th, uh, pushing the upper end of a range higher and bringing us back to, we might actually see the highest high again there on the 10th. I think we'd see it again there on the 10th is my sense. <coughs> right, and so then, 
that we, we should be overbought somewhere over here, and then the decline that commences from this crest that we have throughout, like the first to the tenth, there, there's like this decline where we'll dip below a price level, which I think is probably this price level here, um, like on the, on the 18th, 19th, 20th-ish. There's a price level around there that's going to be highlighted, and we'll probably break below that. And then do the u shape reversal come back uh re return it back into support around the 24th so on the 11th we have a prominent trough again towards the end of the day and uh, support is established there in that trough with a significant move to the upside standing out on a one month um off of the high there on the 11th though there is a decline through a support level we recently broke down through before on the 12th, out of oversold territory, there's a notable move to the upside. 13th, we have a cr three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level, confirming a bullish trend. Bullish trend um, carries into the 14th along a diagonal trend line, breaking through horizontal resistance to meet a second resistance, and then pulling back to somewhere between those two price levels. <laughs> Um, and then we have a prominent trough for the month there on the 14th. On the 15th, um, looks like we probably open higher and then we decline from that. Um, we decline from where we, wherever we open with sideways fluctuating decline that precedes a rally. Um, somewhere between the 15th and the 16th, we do rally into another crest because it's from a peak or crest on the 16th that we sell off significantly. Um, the decline on the 16th continues into the 17th, um, and the 17th may be a possible location of a lowest low. Um, the high, highest probability is here on the 17th or here on the 22nd, is my sense. Oh, you know what we can do? We can utilize size. Here's a, here's a new one. We can utilize size to demonstrate the probability. So if it's a bigger star, has higher probability. Right? I like that. That's a new technique we're going to utilize. Um, in any case, there's a decline there. Um, from the 16th into the 17th and that 17th marks an opportunity to open up a long position for a day trade uh, It's either a day trade or an overnight trade a day trade where we bump up against resistance three times before we drop again, so probably um, Probably the same day out of the decline. There's a big move to the upside uh, From the bottom of a range to the top of a range actually and then we have three pokes through the same price level here on the, the uh, 18th, followed by a sharp decline from that third poke. Um, out of that decline on the 19th, though, we have a big move to the upside, even in the face of seemingly overwhelming headwinds. Um, we have a resistance level, uh, an existing resistance level on the 20th that we failed to break through, and instead we decline through key support. Um, between the 20th and the 21st, first there is a little bit of a rally along a diagonal trend line. Um, into the 21st and that ends with a fast sudden move higher um, marking the end of the, the rally followed by a decline through that diagonal trend line with increasing volatility into the 22nd sharp sharp decline early in the day on the 22nd and then we're bound by the bottom of a range it's most likely location of the low slow here uh, there's a fast sudden move higher on the 23rd bringing us to a prominent crest or peak um, and then it looks like probably a, a higher a higher crest or peak on the twenty fourth, um, where we successfully turn resistance into new support. So this is probably where we break back through that that resistance level that or that support level that we dip below. This is where we come back and reuse it. Is my sense? Um, because we we turn it into support, and then there's a breakout there on the twenty fifth. Um, sitting out on a one month followed by on the 26th the rally there into a prominent crest or peak for the month um, followed by a uh, a full retracement of that move on the 27th 
we establish we re-establish support on the 28th and then there's a resistance level that we rally into on the 29th we, we hit the re resistance and then we break down with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down um, with volatility leading into the 30th on the 30th there's a sharp drop that'll stand out in the period of volatility and then on the 31st decline continues um, we break down through support to meet another support bounce along that support for for a bit and then throughout the day and then we break down through more supports so that decline continues into april but there's a fast sudden move higher in april that ends the, this that period of decline um guys that's kda for march 2023 let me know what you think by hitting that like button don't forget to subscribe most importantly my friends make sure to follow that rule of karma the best way to do that is right here on our resources tab. You can pay 5% of your profits forward to the channel here at PayPal or Cash App. 5% um, uh, for, pay it forward to one of these charities or somebody you see on the street. As long as you pay it forward 5% and you pay it back to the channel 5%, and you, whatever you spend it on, you spend it out of love, the universe will send it back to you tenfold in all directions, my friends. You can count on that. Make sure you do it every single time you profit from this information so that you don't cut off that abundance flow, my friends. With that said, stay tuned for the paid version if you've got the paid version. Um, and if you don't have the paid version, you get it here in our SO Meta Forecast tab. Just type in the ticker that you're, you're interested in, click on subscribe, and you'll get that paid version every month until canceled. Um, thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.